Okay, so my well, lip gloss. <laughs> hey guys, so welcome. I know this is a very last minute live. I did give a little heads up over on my Facebook group when I was in Portland today, and I did mention it on my Instagram that I was going live. So I'm not going to be surprised if not many people show up because I know it's late in the day for a lot of East Coasters, and I didn't really give you any type of notice, but it's puzzle day. So I felt like I needed to at least say something or do something fun. And I have been traveling all day. It was a 15 hour travel day and it was a lot. So we um, left Orlando and then I am here home. Finally, we just got home about half hour ago. Um, hi, Robin. Welcome. Yes. I hope more people show up. I would love to know what your plans were for Puzzle Day. Um, I know there's been a ton of sales. I did not buy anything because we are moving. So I've been trying to um, minimize the amount of things that are coming in. But also, again, I was on a plane all day. So hello. Um, so I do actually have a plan for today's video. I am going to show you all the puzzles that I got from Puzzle Warehouse. If you missed the announcements, I am a part of the ambassador group for 2023, which is super fun. So that really just means that we are a part of the Jigsaw Junkie blog, which is on their website. And so that way I can write blogs for them. And then in exchange, I get a ton of puzzles and gift cards and it's really cool. So um, it's been super fun so far to meet all the other puzzlers and to get to know the team over at Puzzle Warehouse. And we are so fortunate because they let us make a giant wish list and then they pick puzzles from it to send to us twice a, a year. And then we also get gift cards throughout the year. So I wanted to share with you my giant box. Like I can't even like pick it up. It's massive right next to me of all the puzzles. Um, feel free to comment things on your end. Just to let you know if you're not used to lies, it does usually take me about five minutes to see your comments. So if you write something and I don't respond right away, it's probably because I'm not seeing it, but I'll try to respond to as many as I see. And hello, Tara. Oh, there's a few of you in here. So hello, welcome. Um, hopefully you're having a great puzzle day. Got some puzzling in. Maybe bought a puzzle or two online. There's been a ton of different sales. And we're just going to get into this. Um, so I'm so excited so many of you are coming in. That's awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's been a lot of good sales recently, so it's, it's hard to resist. But again, I have a good reason where we're moving, so a little bit easier. I also want to mention that we, again, just got home. And so the cats are wild. So they've been meowing and running, and they're just excited to see us. So if they come in and out, or if you just hear howling in the other room, that's what's happening. Um, all right. So let's go into the puzzles I got. Um, so again, I didn't choose the direct ones that they sent me. Um, I did make a wish list of about 60 or so items, and then they just sent me a box of those items. So um, we are just going to get into this, starting with the puzzle that actually my mom just gave to me when I was there. Uh, sorry, I'm distracted by comments. Um, when I we went on a cruise with my parents and Dave's parents, and we spent the last day at my parents' house. And she sent me home with a puzzle from Radisson Burger. It's one that she's done. And it is called, let's see, Bouquet de, oh, Dahlias. It's just called Beautiful Flowers Dahlias. But look how pretty this one is. I'm just using my computer so the images aren't going to be like super crisp. And hopefully they may also not be like they're mirrored. So sorry, but super pretty. She said she loved it. Um, started with the basket and then the flowers. So that's probably the route I'll go. Um, but super cute. We did do a puzzle yesterday together. Didn't take us long at all. It's a thousand piece. It took us about three hours together. Um, hi, Marlene. Hi, Robin. Hi, Melissa and Tara. And oh, I love that so many of you are here today. That's awesome. Uh, let's go into... so. Um, the thing that happened when this box arrived is I tried to be really good and not open it. But then I was like, ah, I might as well just take a peek. And then I decided to do a couple of them. So I had no restraint whatsoever once they came in. Um, I did want a couple puzzles in here to be going with us in our transition. So in our temporary housing. So they are not quite in season, but this because we'll be in temporary housing for a while. 
Um, oh, she said pu Tara's puzzling with her mom is awesome. It was so much fun puzzling my mom yesterday. We uh, she doesn't have much. Well, she puzzles with my aunt, I believe. Um, but we puzzled together, and it was super fun. Anyways, um, and if, also if you're in the Facebook group, uh, my mom is in there too. So she showed you the picture of us puzzling together. So, oops, sorry, this one got all. This is one of the ones that I already did and again not in season but I wanted to do it before we left so that way I had the picture of the done puzzle for Instagram um, I wasn't going to do a some dedicated video or anything with it but it's from Suns Out and it's called Stealing Me Gold and it's a St. Patty's Day puzzle and it says stay oh it just says stay away from my gold um and it's a bunch of cats and a dog and it's cute it was just 300 pieces I did it in like 40 minutes um, and it was fun. It was cute. I liked it. Um, but it doesn't nearly need its own dedicated video. What I did like though, is that it had massive pieces, um, which I'll talk about more about the puzzles that I've done. And I'm going to be doing a puzzle roundup for January. Um, but look how massive these pieces are. They just make me so happy. Um, yes, I love, I don't mind doing puzzles that are out of season. Melissa did a puzzle that was fall related. Um, so yeah, I did the St. Patty's Day one and I was just super happy when I did it. Um, while we're in the, the St. Patty's Day one, I do have another that I may do an actual video about. Oh, it's this one. It is from Eurographics, which I haven't done in a while. It's a brand that I don't normally gravitate to for their images. Um, I don't know why, it's just a brand that I like, but I don't like enough to do a ton more. Um, but this one, I like the image a lot. So um, in case you are wondering, I am from an Irish background. So um, I, we do celebrate our St. Patty's Day and we're actually pretty into it. Like I actually won the like whole regional wide <laughs> decorating contest of my office last year. It was like St. Patty's Day crazy in my high carry um, in my office. So Anyways, I got this one. It is called Irish Pub by Eurographics, and it's more photograph, which is a style I typically don't go for, but I don't think it'd be crazy hard just because there's like, it's in sections, you know, you have this big massive pub, and then we have the brickwork up here. The flowers may not be my favorite thing, uh, but it does look very doable, and we'll see. If I remember correctly, Eurographics to me has a looser fit. Let me know if you've had that issue too. Um, but it's fine. You know, I, I like the image enough and I liked them enough to do it. I hope this all makes sense about your graphics. Anyways, hi Loki. Oh, hello. You want to say hello? Oh, I... oh. so when we are gone, he doesn't get much attention because he's scared of people. So when we get home, he is all lucky. Um, so there's a Loki. And then I'm sure one or two of the other kitties will come in. Um, but then we have this one here, which I originally brought with us for our um, vacation. Hi, buddy. And I just didn't get time to do it. But it's super cute. I've never done the brand. It's called African American Expressions. And the image is called Jazz Masks, I believe it is. Yeah, Jazz Masks. And it's, I love the colors. I actually saw someone... I forget which group it was. It was either the Puzzle Warehouse group or there's a San Diego group I follow, but they did it and it looked beautiful. Like, look at those colors. Um, and I did have a, I have a music background. And so I love that the different masks, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like a keyboard and a horn and some drums within the masks. And I just think it's, I love the colors a lot. Um, I've never done their brand, but I like how massive the piece sizes are for 500 pieces. Hi, buddy. He's really into this. Um, but the colors are beautiful. I'm really interested in doing this one relatively soon. So I think that will be high up on the list. Hi, buddy. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. The cats are crazy. Um, moving on, we'll take up this one just because it's about to fall over open. Um, you would have already seen this one on my Instagram. Hi, buddy. And it's by Ravensburger. I'm discovering I love the circle of color line from them. So I did this one and then I did the one that was all fruits and vegetables. And I just love this, like, because it's a gradient rainbow in a circle puzzle, um, but it has just a ton of animals on it. 
Loved it. Super fun. Only took me like an hour and a half to do. Really quick and easy. I was watching the Hunger Games while doing it. And it was, I, I liked it a lot. Um, so let me know others of this line. Um, I'll, I can probably just search on Ravensburger or Puzzle Warehouse's website. Um, but I love the colors of this one. I like the concept too. So Ah, Sadie's so doing a round one right now from Ravensburger. They're just fun. You know, they're fun and easy and quick and simple. And oh, excuse me, the colors, the colors are fun. Yeah, I like that one a lot. And then let's see. Did I do any more of them? I don't think so. I think the rest I did not do yet. So this one I'm so happy about, but I can't do it until we move. Um, so it is a 3D puzzle that they put in my box. And if you guys know, do I have Tinkerbell right now? No, she's in storage at the moment. Um, but I got another one of these crystal puzzles and it's Winnie the Pooh. Look at him, he's so cute. He has a little honey pot. And the way these work, you kind of like stack them on top of each other. And so it's kind of difficult to do single person because you kind of have to hold it together while building it on top of each other. And I think it'll be super cute once it's done, but I just don't want it to like, be taken apart or destroyed while we're moving. So I'm going to keep it in some little box and put it together when we get to our new place. But it's super cute. And I loved it. I know. Isn't it cute? Uh, they have a ton of options, like a ton of options, not just like Disney related. But they have like like little ships and buildings and a whole bunch of stuff, um, all different seasons. And I can see this being like a little collection that I get over time. Um, but He's cute. Oh, and I picked Winnie the Pooh on my wish list because it's Dave's favorite Disney character. So mine's Tinkerbell, which I, why I have the Tinkerbell, and then his is Winnie the Pooh. So now I can know both of them. And then next, this one. I am so excited, but I kind of got it in the wrong season. So we'll see. But it is, they have a whole line. Um, so when I was searching on the Puzzle Warehouse website, they have a section where you can you can search or categorize them by type. And so they'll have like wooden puzzles and like 3D puzzles and such, but they had a section that was glow in the dark puzzles. And I was like, what is that? Um, which obviously is a glow in the dark puzzle, but I really wanted to try one. And this one is by Masterpieces. And I want to do it soon, but it's not in season whatsoever. Um, Cause it's a Halloween puzzle. It's called On a Scary Night in October. And it's kind of like, kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Theme. You know, you have this witch and she's making something with a, with a skull and it's cute. I like the colors. It kind of gives me like rainbowish type of colors, but it's supposed to be glow in the dark. So let me know if you've tried one of these. I'm very curious. Also has massive piece sizes, which is fun. Um, and I haven't done masterpieces in a while, so it'll be fun to get back into them um, to see if I like them again. I don't know. I, I remember doing them when I was like young, young. Um, let me see some of these comments. Oh, Robin has two ginger kitties. Yay. I love ginger cats. Um, Tara has a couple of the round puzzles. Oh, I know the little Winnie the Pooh is super cute. That's true. There's no wrong season for puzzles that you love. I do think I'm going to do this one rel rel relatively soon or we'll see. I'm not sure what we're having to kind of do some test runs with our car because we're only driving one car um, and the other car has to be empty when they move it, which is really annoying. Um, so we kind of have to do some test runs to see what we can fit. We did get an overhead thing. Um, we'll see how that works. But if I can get a big enough box, I might bring this. But if I have to do a smaller box, I might have to wait. So that's that's what's happening here. Um, Oh, sorry, there, <laughs> the, the washing machine is going right now. Uh, next, we have this one, which is totally outside my comfort zone. Um, it's super cute and fun. It's by Jumbo, and it's a thousand pieces, and it's called The Winery. So, of course, that's why I had it in my wish list. And it's more like cartoony. I can't believe you can see that. It's more cartoony. Um, Lots of little things happening, and I like it. You know, I used to have one that was called, oh, something about a winery also by Piotnik, and I did it. I wasn't, it was a lot too, more challenging than I was expecting, but that's because, like, all the characters looked identical, 
Um, and it was very raunchy, so I didn't feel comfortable putting it on my channel. But this one looks super cute. Like, I, mean, I hope like you can see it all. Um, but it's more cartoonsy, very busy. And I feel like I do like the 20 piece method, but there's still like larger chunks. Like I could easily do like the umbrellas and the barrels and the roof and, you know, the winery section. And I love how that there's um, wine stopping right here, which so, fun fact, a few of the wineries that are near us actually have huge festivals for wine stomping still, which is fun. I don't know if they actually sell that wine, but it's still fun to be a part of it. So I do actually exist. <laughs> I just noticed like one of the, a couple is in a barrel, like as if it was a spa. It's cute. I like it. Um, not something I typically go for, but it's cute. And jumbo, I don't think I've done a, an actual official jumbo puzzle, but I have done Falcon, which is the same brand. So I will let you guys know on that one. I don't know when that one would be, probably in a little bit, but I know I've heard that too. Carrie says, everyone who does the JVH puzzles loves them. I've heard that. I'm excited. I feel like I'm going to love it. They have a lot of fun images that I was interested in. Um, so we'll, we'll, I feel like that's a brand I'm like, piqued my interest, you know? This one is beautiful. So this one's by Casterland, which I did recently, the llama puzzle, I Am Llama. I know it's fine. Um, that one was a bit more challenging for me because I'm not someone who loves fur in puzzles and there was like half for pieces. Um, this one is flowers. So I feel like it's going to be just as difficult because me and flowers are usually not the best, um, but it's called flowers in a vase. But look how pretty, look at those colors. It has like very antique vibes. And I feel like this one would be beautiful, like in a frame, you know, actually displayed. And it's pretty. I actually am considering in our new space to temporarily keep my puzzles together for displaying purposes so I can have like a rotating background of puzzles that are done not just like boxes I think that would be super fun um so maybe it'll be in a frame at some point but maybe not um but the brand is is fine I remember it being very crumbly it can only move like two pieces at a time um but we'll see this one definitely has more colors than the other one that I did and I think it was fun. Oh, hi, Donna. Welcome. Becky, packing tip for puzzles. Take the puzzles out of the boxes. And then, yes, I did. I am going to be doing that. I'm um, just to have more puzzles with me. It's going to be so challenging not having my whole setup. And I'm even considering not bringing my puzzle table just because it is heavy and big, um, even though it, it folds down. So I might get like a puzzle board once we're up there just to use. Um, but hello, welcome to those who are coming in. I love that you're here. I hope you're all having a good puzzle day and just enjoying some puzzles. Um, and if you're just tuning in, these are all the puzzles I got from Puzzle Warehouse for being an ambassador. Um, just a few more, and then we can just chit chat if you want. Um, but this one I already did, which you guys will not be surprised about. Um, one thing I am going to miss about Temecula is that we do live in wine country, but we also live in like hot air balloon country, I guess. Um, most mornings we do have hot air balloons go up over our house. They fly sometimes right into our HOA. And so this one called Up, Up and Away by Buffalo Games. It's only a 300 piece, but it was fun. It's already on my Instagram, I believe. Um, but super cute. Love the colors, super quick and easy. And I loved it. I love hot air balloon puzzles and mostly because we have hot air balloons here. Um, yeah, it's fun. It's pretty. I haven't done a Buffalo's in a while. Actually, I did the one with my mom. Um, but it's a brand that like I love to do, but I don't love to buy. Is anyone else like that? Um, just because for me, I can often get them either in a swap or maybe at a thrift store. And so to get a brand new one, like fresh in box, it was like so nice because all the pieces were in good shape and the, the poster was in good shape. And, you know, um, sometimes I feel like when I get them used, they don't have the longest life, you know, they have a little bit of uh, use. Next we have this one by Puzzledly, which has been a hot minute since I've done one from them. But this one is another circular puzzle. I got a lot of smaller piece counts. I got a couple thousand pieces, but that's okay because I've done the majority of my 500 pieces recently. So having some smaller piece cuts is nice. Um, but this one is called Best Buds. 
and oh you probably saw it on the other side but look at that look at the color it's very like retro 70s theme you know those colors i love the flowers um but there's very distinct textures in the flowers like this one here is all like purple and orange and i mean it's only five hundred pieces this is not going to take me long but i feel like this is the type of puzzle same with a few of the other 500 pieces where I'd like keep them for a while and then do like a puzzle challenge one day and just do like a ton of them all in one day. That's kind of what I've been liking to, liking recently. So, and then let's see this one, this one. I'm surprised that I'm so drawn to it. Cause again, not the biggest fan of photographs when it comes to my puzzle images, but this one is stunning. It's um, from the brand MI Puzzles never done them it kind of gives me suns out vibes so let me know if you've done them before um but this one made in the usa and it's from the creators of the popular waterfalls of michigan guidebook series if you're from michigan let me know if that's a popular book series that's that you're you're known for um but this one is called green jay i love this one for some reason um this is just enough in the in the front, you know, where it's in focus that I feel like there's enough to work with. And then, yes, the background is pretty tame, but I like it. I like it that there's at least two different colors and a little bit of variation. They're not too big of a section that it's not impossible, you know. Never done this brand, but again, it pretty much reminds me of Suns Out. So let me know if you've done them before. Um, maybe they're the same brand. Let me, I'm just trying to see where they're made just because I know Sunzo is made in California. So let's see. Hmm. No, but it just talks about the, the book series that they're part of, but isn't it pretty? I just, this is one that I'm like, I want to do soon. So it may even come with me in temporary housing just because it's a brand I've never done before. And I think it'd be an interesting video. I don't know, we'll see. And then finally, the last one I have is from another brand I've never done. The box itself reminds me of like Pomegranate or New York Puzzle Company where it has like that nice sturdy box. And this one is from the brand Lucky Puzzles. Again, a new brand that I've never done before. I feel like there's a lot of brands on Puzzle Warehouse's website that I'm completely new to. So I'm excited to try some new things. Um, but this one is from their artist series and it's called Oceans. And I love this image just because it's very structured you no know, it's in layers you can see where it's just kind of i don't know you have like the different layers of the water and they're different colors i just like how it's abstract you know i like the colors i like the little marine life i like the little piece of sky up here with the sun i just love i like it a lot um no idea about the quality but i am curious and it looks like the artist is cedar alasser Probably just butchered that right here on live, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, it looks really pretty. Again, it's called Oceans. So those are all the puzzles that I got from Puzzle Warehouse. Again, this will be twice a year. So I got this one, then we'll get another one more in the summer. And I think it's it's going to be a fun one. Um, I think my first post is the first week of February. So I'll let you guys know on Instagram when that goes up and it's on their jigsaw junkie section of their website, which I normally find at the very bottom of the website, there's like a section for blogs and that's where you can find us. Or there's also a Instagram group as well that you can, or Instagram page that you can follow. Um, moving over to the comments. I'm so happy so many of you showed up. This is awesome. I know it's very last minute and I'm sorry for those who are East Coast. I was actually just there today. Um, we actually woke up um, around one o'clock this morning, California time. Um, and then the TSA checkpoint was nuts. Sorry, we're moving away from the puzzle stuff. We're just talking life right now. Um, but TSA was crazy. Pretty much multiple people in line that were near us, like missed their flight or late for their flight. Um, and it was wild. It took us about an hour and a half to two hours just to get through security. Um, we were very lucky that we were like the very almost the last people to get on the flight today but it was a 15 hour travel day so we're we're both kind of tired um let's see so 
Someone just finished their first Mountain House puzzle. Loved it. I don't think I've tried them before. Is that a brand? And then Tara, I get a majority of my puzzles from them. Yes. Ooh, you'll, you live 30 minutes from them? That would be so dangerous for me. Ooh, I will say I'm so excited to move just to have the opportunity to find more puzzle shops. Um, I know there's a couple smaller puzzle brands that are, are out of Seattle. So I'm excited to see them in person um, and see if there's any, I don't know, warehouses or something I can check out. But yeah, I'm excited to just find like new thrift stores and new puzzle groups. I already have a few um, subscribers who have reached out who want to join up and do some swapping or just like hang out, which is so exciting because I need friends up there. Um, but <laughs> your bedtime story with friends. Yeah, puzzle warehouse near you. That would be so dangerous. Hi, buddy. We want to say hello? Oh, this is an Oliver. Hi, bud. Oh, hi, sweet boy. Um, yeah, it was a long, long day travel. And, and the way that our flight went, we went from Orlando to Portland, Oregon, which was a six hour flight. And then we had a three hour layover. And then we went to San Diego to then drive up an hour to Temecula. So yeah. <sighs> yeah. Very long day. Oh, uh, they say hello to you. Want to say hello? Yeah. Oh, hey, sweet pea. He's the cutest. Um, Oh, my goodness, you're cute. But our vacation was fun. I didn't vlog it just because it's one of the only vacations we were going to be taking this year. Um, so we just wanted to spend time with family. It was both Dave's parents and my parents. And so we went on a cruise to the Bahamas. Um, we hung out with both sets of pants on, like, the different ends of the trip. And we just got back today. And then we just settled in, and we are finding out more about the move this week. So um, it should be mid-February that we are packing up. And it's kind of weird because we can't do any of the packing. And so we're kind of just like waiting here, trying to get together like this the little bit of stuff that we're bringing with us to temporary housing. And then we are probably going to have a massive yard sale, kind of get rid of some stuff. And then they come in, pack everything, and we go pretty much the day after. So it's going to be a very fast turnaround. Um, but it will be fun. I'm excited. I'm sad to leave friends, but I'll be back at least once every few months to for work. I must still be working with my current job. I'll just be remote, which is awesome. Um, and it'll be nice to be remote because then I can not commute, which I don't have much of a commute anyways. But there's something about like being home. You can take your lunch break in your home where you can like do laundry or like make dinner or puzzle. Like I could have an hour a day puzzling. That would be awesome. Um, and I'm excited to get a new puzzle room. That is like, actually, I we talked to our realtor up there. And he's like, is there anything that you guys, that I need to know about? And I was like, we need a bigger second bedroom or like a loft or like a basement where we can have a, a studio for me because I have a channel. And he's like, you have a puzzled YouTube channel? I'm like, yes, I do. Um, so we, that is, is like in our criteria to find a place just to have like a, a nice space for me to to do this. Um, both for hobby, but also for my channel. <sighs> I know I'm so jealous of people who work remote. Although I will say I had, um, COVID and I was okay working home at home, but at the time, like I wasn't really set up to work remote. Like I have a little setup for like when I'm on call, but I think if I had like all my stuff here, I'd be a lot more productive because I'd have all the things that I need versus like having to rely on people who are at the office to do things for me. Um, so I think once I have it all set up, it'll be better. That's true. I can group items so that the packers can pack them out. That's true. I mean, our house is pretty tidy. Um, and they come in beforehand to assess like what they need to do. We don't have a lot of stuff. Like we, we didn't really, um, do much to this place when, when we moved in, I'm not much of a decorator. Um, so it pretty much is in the same state as when we first moved in. And we moved in after our Mississippi year. And we had gotten a, a rid of a lot of stuff at that time because it was, it was it's a whole story. But um, we don't have too much stuff. 
I say that, but we have to have a yard sale. So I don't know, but I think it'll be, it's fun. It's kind of stressful, um, but it'll be good. I'm excited. I'm excited for camping. Now it's just time to be saying things that I'm excited for for our move. I'm excited for camping. That is one thing that me and Dave love to do um, when we lived in Maine. And we actually did, um, the state of Maine has 48 different state parks and they have a little passport book and we hit every single one, camped at most of them or the ones that had camping. And it was one of our favorite highlights, like when we were dating slash early, like when we first got married. And so when we moved here, I did some camping on my own as like solo trips. Um, but we really hadn't done much together. And so we're excited to go back camping and hiking and snowshoeing and, all the outdoorsy things that we did in Maine, we can now do in California. So, I mean, in Washington. So, it'll be fun. I also, <laughs> um, she says, I need a separate room for a puzzle room. I keep buying puzzles all the time. Need more room for room. Yeah, it definitely um, takes up some space. Luckily, I did make some space. I didn't organize this at all today because I was expecting to sit down. I really decided to do this live when we were traveling today. Um, but, having some space for storage for like puzzles that are my collection and then having this kind of set up for a background would be nice where I can actually like make it cute and not necessarily use it for the puzzle storage I think would be cool and also have like a dedicated like bigger puzzle table and like enough space for like the lighting and the camera and all that such we'll, we'll see yeah it's difficult to find camping places in California especially um you can do like the beach camping it's not the same. Like we're so used to like the woods and um, like swimming in fresh water. You really can't do either of those in California unless you go to like redwoods, but that is really hard to find spots in. Um, so yeah, there's not too much availability here. Plus it gets hot. Um, again, there's no like real swimming holes that you can like go into. So it will be nice to have some options. I mean, I have done desert camping. I went to Utah, you know, and Canton, Nevada. Not my favorite. <laughs> camping in 106 degree weather is just not a fun time. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a ton of like state parks in California, but a lot of them are on the coast and I don't really want to, they're very, very small campsites. The ones I've seen anyway. Maine is a magic state. Visit there if you have a chance, one of my favorite places ever. I lived there. That's where I grew up. Um, and so, oh, Wasquati. We actually went there a few times, actually, because that's a state park in our little book. Um, it's We actually, we use these Delorme maps, which is Delorme is in, in um, Freeport? Yeah, Freeport, Maine. And so once you get close to the Canadian border, we have to use our map the whole time. And it's fun, but our map was out of date. And so the road names were wrong. And it was, it was funny. But yeah, I have many hobbies. And husband is saying, stop buying. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you live in Temecula? That's cool. You must, we must be neighbors. I feel like now that we're leaving, I'm meeting more people in the area who either like puzzles or want to be in a swap. And I'm just like, I've been here three years. Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, Maine is beautiful. It's fun to visit, hard to live in. That's what I'm, I'm going to say there. Um, it's an extremely expensive place to live in for heat and um, resources Electric is crazy right now. Like everyone's electric bills like quadruple this year. Um, but if you're just going there to visit in like the springtime or the fall, it's beautiful. Um, no, I grew up in the woods. And so we lived right on the Maine, New Hampshire border. And so um, it was very deeply wooded. And so there's like a lot of black flies in June. And then July through August is pretty much like crazy mosquito weather. And then you have like one nice month of like September and then it's like getting ready for winter. So it's a hard place to live in. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I could do, I don't know. I have a, a lot of other hobbies, but I feel like they're, none of them are 
ones that I do all the time. You know, sometimes I have like a moment where I like, ooh, I want to sew something or ooh, I want to paint. But this is the one that I like need to do all the time. Um, I mean, yeah, I have the channel, but even just for fun. I did a ton of puzzles in January. Did I make any videos about them? No. So um, I just did a ton of puzzles just for, for fun. And you guys will see them in a little bit. But yeah, anyways, I'm so happy all of you came by. I hope you all had a fantastic puzzle day. I know this is short, but again, we just got home. So I kind of need to get things prepped for work tomorrow. Um, but I just want to say hello, show you the puzzles that I got. Um, once this goes up as an uh, as a already recorded item, I'll link the list of puzzles down below in the description box so you guys can see them and know the names of everything. Um, and again, if you are interested in following us on the Puzzle Warehouse website, that'd be cool. Um, my first one will be the first week of February, and it kind of goes along with one of my latest videos, which is about the um, audiobook one, Where the Crawdads Sing puzzle from Workman Puzzles. So that was what it was about, um, and you can read about my experience and such there. So thank you all so much for coming. I'm going to sign off, um, but I hope you all have a lovely evening and I do plan on filming a couple things this week so there'll be more stuff coming out and yeah I need some I need some sleep and it's going to be a lot of adulting soon with all the move and everything so anyways I hope you all have a fantastic um reading all your comments I hope you all have a wonderful night um and I'll see you guys in, in the next video all right bye